are talking Sandbank. It's one of the most exclusive postcodes in the UK. It's in Dorset. It's got property prices higher than Monte Carlo. And it's home to a whole host of celebrities, including King Harry. Yeah, the football legend is inviting viewers into his hometown for a new ITV show. Before we speak to him, let's take a look at Harry Redknapp's Sandbank Summer. With the UK's best weather and a beautiful blue flag beach, it's the jewel of the Southern Riviera. I know I'm lucky to live here, so I'm inviting friends, Come on, hey! family, yeah! There you see him? No, you don't. <laughs> and you lot, to learn more about this gloriously unique part of Britain and enjoy my sandbank summer. Do I have it? <laughs> oh. And Harry's there this morning. Good to see you this morning, Harry. Kate, good morning. Adil, good morning. Morning. Now, Harry, I, I mean, I thought, you know, I mean, I dream of moving to Sandbanks one day, even even visiting Sandbanks, even allowed to go <laughs> to Sandbanks. Do they not let you in? I don't think so. <laughs> no. But I, I thought the whole point of going to Sandbanks was to get away from it all, have the private life, no one can see what we're doing, we can do what we want, enjoy our life, and, and you've put it all on TV. What was the reasoning behind that, mate? Uh, that's what Sandra said to me. What are we doing, <laughs> Harry? Why, why are we doing, you know... Actually, my next door neighbours, it's, a, it's a, a family, member of their family who owns a production company, he came to me and he said, look, I said, I don't want to pro be involved in a programme that's over the top, talking about everybody having whatever. Uh, and he said, no, it'd be a bit of fun. And that's what we did. We had a few ex-footballers down, you know, people like Chris Kamara, John Barnes and Razor Ruddock. And, and then we had, you know, a couple of people in the jungle with me uh, and we had Joe Pasquale down. Nick Knowles and Rita Simons came down. So we, it was just some friends. We had a bit of fun. I think we didn't take it all too seriously. Mm. Did you persuade any of them to move there? Um, no, no, not really. I think they were... John, John and Chris are Northern boys. I think they're quite happy where they are. But, uh, <laughs> listen, it all, gets it all gets blown out of proportion, you know. Yeah, of course it does. I mean, one of the things that it's famous for, apart from being a lovely place to be, uh, is how expensive it is. But you moved there back in 1972, didn't you? So I'm assuming it was perhaps yeah. a little cheaper then. And what drew you there in the first place? Well, I came down and played for Bournemouth. I played football at West Ham and I got transferred to Bournemouth. So we came to Bournemouth to play. In them days, we had a, we had a, we had a town, little townhouse and... Uh, it was a clubhouse and we rented it from the club and the club would do deals for players because we didn't earn any money. And we pay £4 a week rent. So it was £16 a month to, uh, for a clubhouse. So that's, the, that's when we first moved into the area. So and we've stayed here ever since, Kate. You know, we've had a house here ever since. But the prices are not what people... I mean, they keep saying this house is worth trillions. And, I mean, I haven't... It, it, it all gets blown up a little bit, the prices, I think, you know. Mm. Yeah. And it's a lovely place to be. So how much is it worth, dare I ask that? <laughs> I haven't got the money, Harry. I'm not going to be able to buy it. No. How much money have you got, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you could. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not worth what people, you know, it's not worth what people keep saying they're worth, you know, but uh, it's like every... I think the property market at the moment is on the up and uh, probably this is... You've got to see. I think people like to be on the water and so it's always going to hold yeah. its prices. But yeah. I, I mean, Harry, I mean, of course, you, you've done well, well for yourself and so you should. You work very hard. Um, but I think the, the thing that really you captured the nation was that you just seem to really... You're, you're very open as a character. You seem to be very honest as a person and just enjoying everything that's put in front of you. And, and just looking at the kind of things that you've done, you're doing this, doing this um, TV show now, you did The Jungle, books, I mean, where, what, what's going on in your mind? What, what is the reason for you go, well, actually, you know what, I will consider lots of things. I may not do them all, but I will consider lots of things. It's, it's quite a healthy way to be, I think. Yeah, well, I, once I came out of football, I retired from football management a couple of years ago, and then suddenly, what am I going to do every day, you know? And I, I want to play golf, as I love my golf, but I can't play every day. I mean, the weather here, it's raining or it's whatever. And suddenly, people started asking me to do... In fact, the jungle was the, really what set it off for me doing this type of thing. And I, was gonna, I wasn't going to do that until the last minute. I thought, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out of doing that programme. And then suddenly... A friend of mine said, Harry, you know, what an experience for someone at your age. What are you going to do? You can't play golf every day in the winter. Well, it's, it's a great programme. Go and do it. 
And I did it without ever seeing the programme before. And since then, you know, I don't know, people have asked me to do other things and I've said, yeah, of course, why not? It gives me something to do. Every day I, I want to get up and have something to do. I don't want to be sitting on the set all day watching television and, uh, and getting old. I like to be out and be active. Yeah, and you're doing a new show with Jamie, aren't you, as well? That sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. Okay, with Tom Davis, who's, who's great, the comedian, we're going to have a, a chat show. So, yeah, we'll have a laugh and uh, not take it all too seriously. I think that's the key in life, isn't it? You know, you've got to be able to have a laugh and uh, don't take yourself so too seriously. And how is your beloved Sandra? I noticed she'd made you a lovely lamb stew and dumplings on your Instagram <laughs> posting night. Yours, it's all Last still... night, I know, she's out there actually. <laughs> Actually, I think she's making the cameraman a, a, a bacon sandwich or something at the moment. But uh, <laughs> and I know she's making a couple of cakes today for the grandkids. Was it pancake day yesterday? I think she's making pancakes. It's next, next week. It's next week. She's probably getting organised knowing her. Next for week. It. Oh, I don't know. Oh, right. <laughs> she said she's making pancakes for the grandkids or something today. So. Yeah. All going brilliantly. So look, um, we 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 Good. you won the jungle. I, I went to the door last year, didn't win. No one's surprised about that. <laughs> I thought I'd be first out. Uh, but Adol keeps going on you about the great. fact that I, I go on about I it all think, the time. Oh. The truth is, though, <laughs> the truth is, though, Harry, it's a big thing, isn't it? It's an extraordinary experience. It was, yeah, amazing experience, Kate. As I said, I'd never, I'd never seen the programme before I went in there. I'd never seen one second of it. And it is an amazing experience. I mean, you know, I've made so many good friends in there as well. I'm sure you have. Uh, and we all keep in touch on the WhatsApp group and all that. You know, I didn't even know what WhatsApp was till I went in there. But uh, they all educated me. And, um, yeah, it's been, it was great fun. I mean, if you, you could do something like The Jungle, I mean, you know, like I said, you've had, you've had books, like you're going on tour, you've got an audience with Harry. What's next? I mean, would you, would you accept a film role, uh, Harry? If somebody came to you and said, listen, I've got his film, as a little part, it's a football oh. manager. I mean, trust me, I mean, I've not had any acting experience and I've got away with it. He, so. I think EastEnders is... <laughs> I think EastEnders is the one for me. Oh, oh, you'd be well, good at that. I'll tell you what, they're going to be calling because you this I'm a real, I'm a real East, I'm a real EastEnder. You are. Yeah, but would you be would you be the nice character or are you going to be the villain? I mean, what, what where would you pitch yourself? No, no, I'd be a nice guy. No, they, they could be at the bar having a drink and say, oh, Redknapp's come back to his roots, back to the East End of oh, London. Let, let's just try yeah, this. enough of that, Sam let's Banks. Do, let's imagine you're the landlord. You've got to say, get me out of this, get get out of this pub. So, come on, let's, let's hear you. Go, action. All right, lads, finish drinking. Drink up quickly, we're closing. The police are outside, the licence is uh, 11 o'clock finish, everybody out. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I think well, the deal's I mean, done. The deal's the done. The improv there. I the mean, you wrote a whole script. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs>